All right, and we are back. I told you, like 30 seconds later, here we are. In honor of the absolute destruction of self-damage for no other reason than the fact that people are fucking stupid and they're making this game idiot-proof. That's what I'm, that's my theory. Uh, love the Nightwatch skin set. It's fantastic. We're gonna uh, just grab Anaros's colors real quick. Make that shit bright yellow, motherfucker. We're gonna run Akarius as our uh, little secondary. Grab Anaros's colors there too. They're a little fucking crazy looking. And Parasesis, uh, he just carries by default. He is my Railjack runner for pretty much everything, because immortality is good. Let's take a quick look at the Agris, uh, set up for corrosive damage, so blast and corrosive. Terminal velocity, gets our rockets there faster. Prime fast hands, gets us more rockets there faster. And firestorm makes them blow up bigger. In fact, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get bonkers. Cause you guys might not even know about this one. There they are, baby. So, Amalgam Furax Body Count. All right? Now, while this is, I mean, actually surprisingly with the, with the update, Furax Wraith are nice, but, we're not going to get into that. The amalgam of this mod is plus 20% blast radius on specialized launchers, which does include, of course, our augurus. So just for you in the upgrade screen real quick, our radial attack range is now up over 10 meters. So we're going to have some really big fast firing explosions of death and destruction because plus fire rate plus damage and plus status on a ribbon is pretty sweet and a hundred percent status on a fucking rpg is never a bad thing um there's a bunch of other mods that i do like to run on the augurus that are really fun to play with nightwatch napalm for example is one of them if you don't know or have that mod, it's one of the Killer de Thames uh, Grenier Weapon Unique mods. It's uh, only for uh, that particular weapon, and it is absolutely worth farming or grabbing in one way, shape, or form. Uh, it basically where your augurus explodes leaves gigantic clouds of ore explodes are not to be taken lightly. Uh, another yeah, reason that i opted to go with the narrows uh, for this one leave no survivors. aside from just the one fact that the narrows is easy mode for anything we need you to uh, and eliminate okay. whoever is responsible let's do one of these look self damage and i didn't kill myself or Explosives. I didn't kill myself. Hey, guess what? You're all fucking dead. I'm not, but you are. So, you know, I, I don't really know what to say. Because I don't want to be, like, mean and rude and just say, get good. Because that's not, you know, that's not the solution. But removing a commonsensical fundamental reality of life is i mean i mean i already think it's ridiculous that we're fucking space ninjas that fish with spears in the first place that's fucking bonkers there you go i even proc myself on that one I am no longer detecting signs of a juggernaut. Move that on. one you might have killed us. That last one. Might have. Where the fuck are we supposed to go? Over here? 
This GPS is terrible. Just, just get out of my way. Another nice side effect of these, uh, the, the Amalga is that melee kills knock down everybody that's near you. And then there's a finisher stance for people that are knocked down. And on the ground, you literally just walk up to them, punch them, and smash their face in. It's kind of like a stupidly ridiculous combo. Which, again, we're, we're trying to just... I shouldn't even be here punching these guys. It's pointless. Just give me the animation already. Come on. Let's see, this right here is the whole point. Bam, bam. Assassination target is here. Wipe them out. I might have got myself once there. Jumping around in circles. Nothing has touched us. You see all those dead people? I mean, that's fantastic. We want that from explosive weapons. But if I did that to myself, I should fucking die. You know? I mean, seriously. That's just ridiculous. I, I don't get how you can possibly say that something like, here, let's just, let's just, this is my point. Are you kidding me? How can you possibly complain about that? I deserve to be dead. I just fired a fucking rocket launcher at a gigantic piece of rock that sure as shit ain't gonna explode that's right in front of me. You're f goddamn right I'm gonna fucking die. And I deserved it. Because I shot the fucking wall in front of me. You don't you do those things ahead? when you're playing with a fucking rocket launcher. Because it's a bad idea. You do things like that. And like that. Allow By the way, has anyone actually seen the forward? kind of forgot where he is. Oh, that's him right there, right? Oh, I think I... Aww. I really thought I had marked him. I think we got him good that time. Wow. This is just kind of becoming a masterclass in how to use explosive weapons and not be a fucking idiot. I'm not entirely sure how I died right there. I, I gotta admit, no fucking clue. But I also have this theory, and it's it happens every fucking time. Whenever a lich ally spawns, I take somewhere between one and three deaths every fucking time. And sure as shit, I'm on fucking Anaros. And I took one. Like, really, dude? Really? Suddenly, everything is murdering me. This is just starting to get stupid with this whole ledge crap. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. The worst thing is that you can't turn it off. So there's there's no way for me to disable those spawning in. It's just going to continue to happen. It's no, There's no choice. My only option would be to trade them away. But the remaining witches that I do have are what's called converted non-tradable because at one point they had ephemeris 
and they're no longer allowed to be passed along. Why didn't you just remove the fucking ephemeris the second time and, and let me pass them along to someone else? That was kind of funny how I just like hung in the air for a minute there, waiting like I didn't want to punch it. What'd we get? 6,000 Bula. If I didn't already have 2.4 million, I'd be way more psyched than I am right now. But you can never complain about 6,000 free Bula. This is my thing about Zordies. Like, even a Nasus, like, yeah, I complain about them, but they're wicked dope decorations. Like, they're all over my ship, especially on top of Pedestal Primes. They look slick. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but, long story short, as you can see, explosive weapons and, you know, half a brain and some patience instead of being in a massive rush to crush the boss immediately. <laughs> immediately. It's not like I was in any damage, aside from that random ass death I took, which again, like I said, I blame on the Lich. That's a consistent thing with me. I'm not, I, I just expect that. Uh, and of course, obviously the one where I suicided on purpose, just to kind of show you the point. But like, even with the amalgam, 10 meter explos explosion radius, we may have hit ourselves one or two times for some damage. May have suicided a squishier frame. Like, I mean, one of the squishier frames, not every squishy frame that's not a Naros one of the like wicked squishy you know but seriously like uh, if you sh I, I, I just don't even understand the, 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 the concept if you shoot an RPG at your feet you deserve Stand to explode and, and not have feet anymore like Error, you made that decision that's Did on you homie no, I, I didn't, because I'm talking and you're intercept, interrupt, in, intercepting. Uh, no, that's what the NSA is doing. No, you're interrupting me. That's a totally different thing. Uh, it's, it's like, it's, I'm sorry, it's just, I don't, I don't understand how you could possibly complain about that being something that shouldn't exist in a game that's like this. I mean, what's the point of an explosive weapon now? If I could just sprint through an exterminate level, literally just hip firing that rocket launcher and nu just nuking shit point blank, because it doesn't fucking matter anymore. And I've already solved the solution to this stagger thing without even fucking waiting for it to show up. Patch notes aren't even here, and I've already solved your fucking problem. Like, come on, man. This is, I mean, what, it, ah, uh, I can't even. So, we're just going to call it a wrap. Hooray for 6,000 Kuba. In the comments, I would love to see votes on which of the 120 ribbons I currently possess. I should roll first. Because I haven't rolled any of them in, like, months. As I've collected that 2.4 million Kuva I mentioned, which we saw at least most of in the video the other day. Uh, and as you can imagine, at 120, there's a vast array of weapons that I have ribbons for. So odds are, if you make a guess, I might probably have one. Uh, so yeah, give me an excuse to spend this Kuva. Tell me, tell me where to, what to, what to throw it at. And uh, and get my god roll so I can get red crits and be cool like like the 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 chromas that run six by threes and you know won't speak to you unless you have like five hundred caps or some shit, which I think is hilarious because I only have like a hundred and something, but can solo tridolons. So like 
Yeah, I totally am not welcome as part of your team, but I can do what you four do by myself. Have a nice day. <laughs> Anywho, you guys have a nice day too. Thanks for stopping by and watching, and have a f fantastic day. And uh, yeah, deuces up, yo.